you. That's amazing what Gene does. I just do skits. <laughs> but it has a process involved as well. Uh, improvisation is a tool that we've used to create comedy throughout the last uh, quarter of a century. And improvisation is, as you probably know, standing on stage, not knowing what you're going to say or do, and then saying and doing it. Uh, I like to put it another way. Improvisation is the art of not knowing what the hell you're going to do or say and being completely okay with that. And that is a very, very scary notion. We'd like to actually improvise a scene for you right now, and I'd like to break it down, what improvisation is a little more specifically. And I'd like to invite my good friends, Pat and John, on stage with us. Good. So, in a, in a performance setting, improvisation is a little different than any other creative process, because the creative process is the product that you're watching. You can create things in the world, and you sit around and do that, and then you create the product. Improvisation asks that you witness the creative process, which is the product. And we're going to improvise for you right now. And traditionally, we'll get a location from you or some other variable. So I'll ask this fine gentleman to give us a location that would fit on stage. That's a typical response. <laughs> A deli counter. That's a great guess. A deli counter will fit on stage. Just you know. Yes, thank you. All right, so they're at a deli counter. All right, Tim, we got to work on this because the health inspector's coming in tomorrow. Again? Yeah, well, we had a big problem last week with the worms in the deli meat. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. You say big problem. I say we went green. We yeah. brought, you know, we brought nature into the deli counter. It's a good thing. thing. It's true. It's a really lot of, good thing. We got a lot of publicity for it. Big in the newspaper, right? Big in the newspaper. Real big. When you say don't go to Tim and Bob's deli, right? What are people gonna do? They're gonna go. They're gonna go. They're gonna go. In. We are gonna get a ton of teenagers in here. Yeah. And after teenager, my dad's like, hey, make sure you don't smoke pot. I'm like, oh yeah, watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really do. We should bring more worms in here. Yeah. More yeah. people saying don't come here. Mine's out the door. Yeah. yeah. All press is good press. That is a way of looking at it. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna make a sign. All press is good press. Yeah. Welcome to the Wormy Deli. <laughs> Name change. We'll do that. Yeah. Wormy Deli. I felt a little self-centered with Tim and Bob's deli counter. Too much. Too much. Too much right? us. No, we want to say what's in our product. Tim and Bob are in our product. Oh. No. Worms are in our product. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need to name it. You know what? Maybe we should change our t-shirts. I mean, this picture of your face and that picture of my face. A little self-centered. It's a little weird also that yeah. we're wearing each other's faces on each other's I didn't want to say anything, but I thought it was weird. I see, see. And so a lot of people look at that and go, well, that's an improv scene. A couple of guys are on stage and they're being funny. Now, I'm going to break it down for you. There's a danger for breaking down improvisation and comedy. It's kind of like showing you a magic trick, a card trick. Every time you see that thereafter, you might think, oh, I kind of know how that's done. But I think it's interesting to look at improvisation and know that it's not just like kind of being funny. One of the uh, most important tenets of improvisation is acceptance. You must immediately, without judgment, and I mean really without judgment, accept the reality that your partner sets forth in the scene. That's exactly what they just did. They were assisted by being at a deli, county, deli counter, but they immediately accepted every single reality brought forth in the scene. Because in improvisation, you don't have time not to be in complete, unjudgmental agreement. You must immediately <laughs> agree and then aggress and add to what was up. So they created a context of an anti-campaign in which they derived comedy from. So in improvisation, not only do you have to immediately accept the reality that's brought forth in a scene and add to it, but you also must have another side of your brain that understands the context that you're creating while you're creating it. And they did. Once they created the context that this is an anti-campaign in order to get business for our deli, then they were able to play that game. But in improvisation, merely playing the game isn't enough. You have to then allow the audience to see the roadmap you've created and then surprise you from within that roadmap in order to get the laughs in the scene. It's pretty wild, and you guys did a great job doing it. Wow. Um, so I want to show you, though, what happens when you do the opposite in improvisation, when you don't agree. And I'd like to get another suggestion of a location that will fit on stage. 
from this lovely young lady. <laughs> A classroom, Well, Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Professor Charles? No, I'm not your professor. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I, I'm not a person of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 